and welcome to another episode of Adam's Kitchen on Trust TV. I am Adam Mani Angora with you again today. In today's episode, we are going to be preparing a breakfast, which I called Adam's Breakfast. Anyways, this breakfast, there is something unique to it. You know, uh, there is something somehow peculiar to us in northern Nigeria, especially during the Eid celebration. That is the Babasala that we call. So after the Eid, um, the ram that has been slaughtered, we used to reserve the head and legs. And that thing is specially cooked and be made available for breakfast. I remember this when I was a kid. Our mom used to serve us this. We either eat it with what is called grasa or bread or something like that. But today, we are going to make something unique out of it. Okay? We will bring that memory of childhood and then blend it with something that is a bit unusual as compared to when we were kids. So, what we are doing today is we are preparing the ram head peppered soup ram head and legs then we serve it with a flat whole wheat bread and also with adam's tea this is going to be really exciting and special breakfast and i hope you will enjoy watching this episode and learn a lot from it until then let us go for a short break see you in a while Welcome back. In case you are just joining us, you are with Adam's Kitchen on Trust TV. To prepare this amazing breakfast, essentially, we need the ram head and legs already been chopped and washed very well. Then we are going to need some amount of water. We are going to need a whole wheat flour. Then we have oregano, we have uh, dried mint leaves, we have some honey, we have a green tea, we also have a dried lemongrass. We also have um, baking powder, which is of course optional. If you do not like it, you might not use it. We are using it today for demonstration purpose but usually we avoid using some of those things in our dishes. We also have salt, we have pounded dried ginger, fresh garlic, a combination of rosemary and coriander. We also have salted butter, some amount of oil, cardamom, black pepper, saffron, cinnamon, and also we have cloves. Um, again, okay, I forgot to mention the black tea, of course. Now, from here you can see we have some fresh uh, pepper, some onions, and also spring onions. These are part of the ingredients that are essentially needed for today's dish. But we are going to do something a little bit unusual. Usually, we would use blender to blend our um, fresh tomatoes, onions, and what we what have you. But for today, we are going to do something a bit more traditional. We brought our mortar and pestle, which is going to be used to pound the pepper and the onions. So let me go ahead and begin the preparation. So at first, level what i'll do is to make sure that i pour my water inside of the pot depending on the quantity of water that you need you can get it measured second of all i will start my fire so our fire has started our water is ready then I would now pour the ram head into the pot. While this 
is getting or is starting to get cooked, I will chop some onions. Now, while I have my water here, which I'm going to be using in a short while, uh, let me go ahead and begin to use our mortar and pestle. So I would chop, you know, I would cut some of these spring onions. So, I have now finished pounding. What I need to do is to go ahead and add it to the pot. So, as you can see, I did not pound it too much because this way it looks more beautiful. Now that we have added the pounded um, onions and pepper, I'll go ahead and add the mix of my coriander and uh, um, uh, rosemary. Now I will add some salt um, I will have my pounded um, ginger added in ginger with this I will stir it a bit my black pepper some amount of it then we are now adding some cloves for this I'm adding uh, I'm adding like say 20 pieces of the cloves okay um, some saffron not that much Some cardamom, not that much. We are also adding a little bit amount of oil, not so much. This is uh, much enough. Then I am adding my oregano. This is the dried oregano. If you like, you can use fresh one, but I would recommend using the dried one of course we'll add our lemongrass we are adding mint leaves these are what we need and then we'll cover the pot and let it continue to cook coming back to this side now that my water has boiled, I will grab my whole wheat flour. Remember what I said earlier on. The baking powder is absolutely optional. It's not mandatory. We are just using it for demonstration purpose. So we put some of it here. And then I will add a teaspoon of salt. Now, I would use my whisk so that 
the baking powder and salt are evenly distributed inside of the flour. Again, I would add some salted butter. This is also optional. For those who cannot afford the salted uh, butter or they don't, want, they don't want to use it, you can either use vegetable oil or whatever oil you have available. I used six tablespoons and then I will now go ahead and mix it again. From this point, I'll now add my very hot water or boiled water. Make sure the water is really, really hot, if not at boiling point. So as we add the hot water, we'll now go ahead and mix the flour. Make sure you always reserve some quantity of flour in case you put too much water. You can now use the flour to correct the mistake. Okay, and as you can see, we are mixing it. It's not looking smooth because the water is really hot and we can't directly put, uh, put our hand in it, no fear of getting burnt. But as we mix it with the wooden spoon, it's getting colder to the point where we can be able to put our hand and mix it well. So when mixing this, you know, if you have hand gloves, the kitchen gloves, you can use it. But if you don't, make sure you wash your hand absolutely very well and then you put it inside and begin to mix it. So since I have two options let me use one of them which is to use my gloves. So um, you don't want your bread to be too dry and then you don't want it to be too wet so you will have to always uh, be careful with the amount of water you put while you are mixing it and if you notice That the mixture is a bit dry. You can add the water as needed Likewise if you notice that the flour is a bit watery you can go ahead and add some of the wheat flour that you reserved. So now I'm trying to make sure that our mixture is as smooth as it should be. You can see now it's getting very very smooth as compared to when I wasn't using my hand to mix it. Our dough is now well mixed. Before we go to the next step, let us go for a quick break. We'll be right back. Welcome back. In case you are just joining us, you have really missed a lot, but I'm sure you will be able to catch up. So. Our dough is ready. The next thing we are doing now is to bring it out of the bowl and give it a nice shape. Okay. Preferably, I would recommend using a flat surface. Now I am making it in ball shapes like this. 
depending on your style, how you want to mold it. And then I would flatten it in some way and then put it here. We have now molded the door and one more thing we need to do is to apply some oil so that it does not get dried. You know the reason why we put this oil is because we are now going to cover it for a while. Allow it to rest for about 15 minutes. So the oil will now help the upper surface of the dough not to get dried while we are waiting for it to uh, stay for 15 minutes. Okay, so I would put my dough here and give it 15 minutes. Let me check my ram and leg, uh, the ram head and leg, and see how far we are. Okay, great. It's doing, um, it's doing just very well, okay? So I guess we'll cover it and give it some more time while we wait for this to be ready. So I'm checking my ram head peppered soup. So as we waited for 15 minutes, let's see what develops. Okay, so see this now. Part of the reason why I kept this flour is because when rolling it, when rolling the molded dough, I don't want it to get stuck on the board or on the roller. So I would now put it here and begin to give it to give it a roll. Okay. So with this, you can now take it off, put it here. We will now commence the frying, or I should say baking, depend on whatever you call it, right? Our pan has been waiting for us here patiently. Now it is time to make use of it. I'll now put it here. Before you start doing this, make sure the pan is really, really hot. I would recommend putting a medium high heat and then wait for it to begin to uh, get hot. While I'm waiting for that, let me check my soup okay let's do this and reduce the fire and then stir it and let me check if it has become soft enough for consumption so our pan is getting hot moment of truth. I begin by bringing one of my bread and put it there. Um, at the beginning, I'm going to give it about 10 seconds of heat. Let me begin to prepare my tea. 
Make sure you already have water inside of your teapot. And then add the ingredients that you have available. As for this one, as I said earlier on, we are adding some green tea leaves. Okay. We will also add a bit of mint, which some call na'a na'a. When I use about one liter of water, I would prefer to use about six pieces of cloves. Okay. And then, of course, one teaspoon of black tea. Among the categories of tea that we have, now this one is going to be Adam's cinnamon tea. So in this tea recipe, cinnamon is the hero. So with this, let me call for a short break and we'll be right back. You are still with Adam's Kitchen on Trust TV. It is now the moment of checking our food and perhaps serving it for testing. Now, our tea is well boiled. Let's keep it aside and then begin by serving Adam's cinnamon tea. We use raw honey, absolutely pure, absolutely pure raw honey. Our tea is served. Covered. And then I'm going ahead to serve our ram head pepper soup. This is how we serve the menu. To serve the whole wheat flat bread. Okay. And then it is the moment we invite our guest. With our package served and ready for testing, let me introduce my guest, who is Aisha. 
Hello, Aisha. Hi, Adam. Welcome. I'm honored to have you again at Adam's Kitchen. The honor is mine. <laughs> okay. This is actually ram head and oh. leg pepper soup being prepared. And we serve it with whole wheat flat bread against the um, conventional uh, ram head pepper soup that we used to have when we were kids. And this is Adam's cinnamon tea being served with honey. Okay. So, I wait for your response. <laughs> All right, pleasure. Okay. Very, very nice. It's Thank you. Delicious. I Thank you it. so much. Thanks. I love it so much. Thank so you really I'm much. Take another <laughs> <laughs> this is really, really delicious. I love the taste. Mm. It's natural. Okay. Just, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I can't get another bit. I'm pretty sure. Thank and you so much. Thank you. Like oh, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> wow. This is very, very nice. Let me try the tea too. Okay. Oh my god, wow. Superb. <laughs> it's very, very, very nice. With that. I love it. This is indeed a cinnamon mm. tea. Thank you. Cinnamon tea, right? Thank you. Yes. Cinnamon taste, the mint, the, you know, mm. all the combinations. Thank you very, very I, much. I, I love it. It's Thanks. nice. It's Thank really you. Really Thank delicious. you so much. Thank you so much. I am honored. With this, we have now come to the end of today's episode of Adam's Kitchen on Trust TV. You can catch us across social media platforms at Trust TV. You can go to our handle on Instagram, you can go on YouTube or Facebook. Until then, we we'll see you next week and bye for now. <laughs>